So yeah, per the Kim Porter book that I'm listening to right now, he was into passing his girls around. All of them, every girl that was his girlfriend was getting smashed by lots of different dudes in front of him with him actually participating at the same time. Why would J-Lo be any different? Any of you guys ever think to yourself, I wonder what happened when J-Lo was together with Sean Diddy Combs? Well, I have some news for you guys today. We're going to talk about that in this video because uh, there are some uh, freak off videos that got into a certain person's hands that... Um, Maybe had J-Lo on them, and maybe that's why she's getting divorced. And uh, I just, honest to God, I cannot wait to cover this topic. I just think about this. It's, I mean, it's not funny, you know, because I think Ben Affleck's a good dude. He's, you know, ben Affleck is a troubled gentleman. He's got a really serious drinking problem, and he doesn't look very happy given that he is a movie star and has all the money in the world. You'd think he'd find something to be happy about. But, I mean, listen, man, the thought of someone handing me a videotape of my uh, very famous girlfriend getting turned out by a bunch of different famous men, that's, that's not fun, you know? That is not a fun moment for me if I'm Ben Affleck, but we're gonna talk about that. We're also gonna talk about this story right here because uh, Sean Diddy Combs' son, right, who I'm sure that you guys have probably considered, like, you know, doesn't take a lot. This is three days ago. This is Diddy's son three days ago. I don't think he realizes what's happening, you know? I think he still thinks that the world is unchanged. It's like, bruh, you better live it up right now because the world's coming down on you, my friend. You are the son of, uh, you're, you're, you're uh, Harvey Weinstein's kid. You still think you're Diddy's kid. You're Harvey Weinstein's kid. Diddy's Harvey Weinstein. Jeffrey Epstein, Harvey Weinstein, he's one of those now. So uh, we're gonna look at uh, this, this little story about him partying in the last few days. And we're also going to look at this story, okay? Because guess what? It seems to, you know, it seems like uh, Diddy's son is also gay, just like his daddy, all right? He's also gay, just like his daddy. And also, he also was assaulting women, just like his daddy, all right? So we're going to look at that case. Uh, here's another one. And then Diddy, <laughs> unbelievably, Diddy got another charge today. Another one, someone saying that uh, she was uh, uh, unknowingly uh, ingested something that would make her unable to defend herself while Diddy and his bodyguard, oh yeah. So hopefully he goes to prison for that also. And uh, like I said, we're, we're gonna look at this one because uh, Ben Affleck, uh, that's gotta be a rough go for Ben Affleck. Now, I am going to very quickly since this is going to be a nice long episode for you guys with nothing but hilarious topics, I'm going to throw a little uh, a little audible on you guys since we're talking about rappers, uh, specifically rappers that are garbage. Uh, we're going to look at this uh, this little story about Macklemore. You guys may have heard Macklemore. I actually used to tell people like he looks like Macklemore. No, I don't. Okay, I don't look like Macklemore. Do I look like a person who thinks who says? fuck America into a camera, into a microphone, you know? Now, you could see my post on this in uh, on X. <laughs> uh, anyway, so let's, let's watch that clip because guess what? People have responded. People are kicking him off of all of their things. They're like, yeah, we're not having you at our concert ever again. You disloyal, trash bag, woke, garbage pail kid. Enjoy your cancellation, okay? Jesse, I thought you don't like cancel culture. Nah, I don't. Unless it's some scumbag who said fuck America, you know? You can suck on the lack of money that is coming your way because it's exactly what you deserve. You ungrateful, idiotic moron. I cannot wait. I'm going to torch this fucking idiot. Now, if you think it's absurd for an uneducated, untalented crack baby to become a massive multimillionaire all because of the system that he lives in, in a free country that he lives in, and that guy go onto a stage and say, F the place that I come from that enabled me to become the person I am. If you think that is absolutely ludicrous, then you should subscribe to this channel, because guess what? I do too. And so by you subscribing and sharing this content and liking the video, you will tell YouTube to spread my message to as many people as possible. So they will also get to see 
this moron get torched. Now, also there's this, and I do say this very often. This is not a free channel. It doesn't cost money. I just ask that you subscribe. That's, that's, your, that's your price to entry. One second clicking subscribe. Otherwise, you are stealing my content and that hurts my feelings. Don't be the guy that takes the candy from the front of the store and it's all leave a quarter for muscular dystrophy and you're all, screw the kids with muscular dystrophy, okay? Click subscribe. I appreciate you guys. All right, so let's get into Macklemore, this absolute sheer ungrateful scumbag. And you should buckle up because I'm going to be real mean to this guy. Ready? Let's listen to him. Straight up, say it. I'm not going to stop you. I'm not going to stop you. Um, yeah, fuck America. You know what the sorriest part about this is? Is that this idiot, he's up there thinking that he's like, he's all, yeah, man, I'm about to drop something really important. He's all, I got something, it's just right here. It's right here. It's like, it's exploding out of my heart. And so it's in my throat. And you know what? I'm about to do some slam poetry for, for everybody. I'm about to say what you know you're thinking. Yeah, fuck America. Boom! Everyone's all, oh my God, Macklemore. First of all, think about what kind of sorry ass is going to be at a Macklemore concert, okay? If someone came to me, they're all, hey man, I'm going to see Macklemore on Saturday. You want to come? I'd be all, Macklemore? Why would I want to go see Macklemore? They're all, because aren't you gay? I'd be like, no, I'm not. They're like, you're not gay? I'd be like, no. And listen, there's nothing wrong with being gay, but if you're not gay, obviously you're not a Macklemore fan, you know? Obviously, you're not a Macklemore fan if you're not gay. And so... Right there, I don't want to go. But let's say I was gay. They're like, aren't you gay? I'm like, oh yeah, I'm super gay. They're all awesome, awesome, awesome. Are you also a complete I'd be like, no, I'm not. And they're all, oh my God. But if I was a complete and total pussy, and I also liked getting pounded by dudes like Diddy, then I might be the same kind of that might think, you know, like, F America, man. F America. Hey, why do you hate America? Because I'm a you know what I am a fan of, though, is this next part of the story. Oh, no, Macklemore dropped from the Las Vegas Fel uh, Festival amid F America controversy. The Neon Festival organizers have dropped Macklemore. Oh, weird. Due to unforeseen circumstances, Macklemore will no longer be performing at Neon City Festival. Oh, weird. Almost as if, you know, he thought that everybody's on board with F America and then Americans were like, yeah, we're not. So why don't you go Pound sand, nerd. Okay, let me just say something here, okay? The baby, the baby got canceled because he said something like, hey, if you hey, if you only be, if you ain't doing blah, blah, blah in the parking lot, you know? And they were like, oh my God, he's homophobic. And they canceled him, okay? If you get canceled for stupid stuff like that, then you better get canceled for F America, okay? Get out of here, Macklemore. You had a nice run. I mean, I couldn't tell you any of your songs except for those stupid just straight up pussy ass songs that you used to make that were like the mainstream ones. But I'm glad to see you fall, dude. I'm glad to see everybody who says F America fall. You guys can go pound sand, beat it, nerd. Okay, now let's start with, let's start with the new Diddy accusations and then we'll get to, actually, you know what? I take that back. Let's start with the, uh, the one about his son, okay? So his son has been accused of Assault in lawsuit. Okay, so this is from April. Okay, so we all know about that. Oh, actually, I don't know if you guys know about this. But Diddy's son, basically, you know what? I could just tell you about it. We don't even need the article. Diddy's son was on a yacht party. And there was a girl who was working at said yacht party. She was literally staff. This is not some groupie girl who was there. She's like, she's staff on a yacht that they rented. Okay, and he comes to her and she's hot and she's talking to him and, she, and she's being nice because she works there. And he cornered her in a, uh, you know, in a room and he tried to force her to drink alcohol, which was inevitably spiked with drugs. She was like, are you going to drink it? He's all, not, he's straight, this is what he said to her. He's all, I ain't even going to lie, man. I ain't going to drink it. And she's like, okay, well, I wasn't going to drink it anyway, but now I'm really not going to drink. He's all, come on, man, drink it. Cornered her, started groping her. Another staff person came in and basically rescued her from uh, this little scumbag right here, you know? I thought you said you're nervous about saying negative things about people on the internet. Yeah, this guy, <laughs> uh, he has no power. I'm not worried about him at all. He is a little scumbag that is probably gonna go to jail also, but he's certainly going to be living in exile. And my guess, 
I'm not even going to say what I'm thinking out loud, but maybe, you know, once his dad is like permanently in jail and, you know, the reality of who he is now uh, hits him. I don't know, man. I don't know. But anyway, so here's the other thing about him, though. He is gay, just like Diddy, dude. Look at Diddy has a gay son. Okay, he's got a gay son. Because he invited a male model to a freak-off party with uh, with his rapper dad. Diddy's son, Christian Combs, reportedly uses, used gay dating apps, Grinder to invite a man to his dad's so-called freak-off parties in Florida. Oh, no, dude. Oh, no. So, daddy taught him so good. Daddy taught him so good. He's all, hey, listen, man. Listen. A hole is a hole, baby. You know what I'm saying? Listen, you got to get your rocks off one way or the other. You like girls. Hey, you need to learn to like boys. They could do things for you that the ladies can't do, son. Okay? So just get comfortable with it because, listen, we, we're taking videos. You my son. I need to school you on the game. We're, we're getting videos all over the place. So what you need to do, you need to get comfortable having sex with men. That way you normalize the behavior. And then when people come into these rooms, they'll have sex with men on camera. And guess who's got the video? Us. And so by you getting used to it, you are gaining power. Power that we're going to leverage over all these buster-ass celebrities. So it's imperative that you go down on daddy right now, okay? And make sure you calling me daddy while you do that, Christian. It's just to get used to it, man. It's just to get used to Go ahead. Go ahead. Now that you're done, get on Grinder. Go get daddy some more He'll get Diddy some old daddies. You know what I'm saying? What? So, yeah. Uh, this dude is gay. Uh, the rapper, 54, who is currently in jail following sex trafficking charges, which he denies, reportedly organized the parties, which were staged with sex acts and coerced and drugged victims to perform with male sex workers, sometimes mo over multiple days, according to the indictment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Taking to Instagram, claiming he was invited to such a party in 2017, a man says he was contacted on Grindr by the rapper's son, Christian Combs. Oh, no. <sighs> With the caption, the diddler almost got me. When I was going to college in Miami, I was invited to one of Diddy's parties, one of the freak-offs. I cannot believe I'm telling this story. I'm on the app called Grindr back in 2018, and I got a message from an anonymous profile. They tell me, you look good, whatever, whatever. We got to chatting. Long story short, it ends up being Christian Combs, Diddy's son, and he's trying to get me to come to the house on Star Island for a party, a.k.a. a freak-off. I'm 18, 19 years old. I've never experienced anything like this, and I'm hesitant, but I go. <gasps> he went! The man then says he didn't end up attending the party mainly because of a sixth sense. Continuing, so I go. I don't go in because a higher power tells me just not to walk in, so I just drive away. The diddler almost got me. I have sat on this video for years. I have absolutely no reason to lie for legal purposes. This is alleged. Huh. Well, let me just, uh, let me go ahead and just ask a question, guys. You know, I'm not going to say that this is straight up not true. But let's say hypothetically that it was. It was a dude on Grinder who's 19 years old and is now like, whatever, 26 years old. And, uh, you know, like, hi, I'm on Grinder looking for casual sex with men, right? And I got invited to a party with Diddy and a bunch of other celebrities because I'm about to, you know, like, because maybe tonight I can have sex with LL Cool J, you know, or like, or Jay-Z or Diddy or any of these other guys that like might be, you're telling me, and he's like, oh, the diddler almost got me. Isn't that like your dream night, dude? Okay. You sound like a moron. Okay. If I would have been like, someone hit me up there. Oh, it's Nicki Minaj's cousin. And oh my God, her, Cardi B, and uh, I don't know, fill in the blank with other like, you know, hot rapper chicks. You know, Christina Aguilera was there back when she was looking cool. Britney Spears was there when she was in her prime, you know, and there are all these other female girls. And like, they were, they, hey, they almost got me, dude. I almost had to go to an orgy with them. Gosh, I'm so glad I didn't go in. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? That's your dream. Don't pretend that that would have been Diddy getting you. You know what I mean? But anyway, so here's Diddy's son, uh, who is spotted parting with his girlfriend among amid father's legal troubles. Bro, this guy is in for a rude awakening, man. This is going to end bad for him. Okay, so as Diddy faces serious charges, his son Christian King Combs steps out with Ray Raven Tracy at her brand event. This girl has got the dude. Let me tell you something. 
Let me tell you something right now. You look at this face, okay? Look in her eyes and look at him, okay? You think she's together with this dude because he's like, oh my God, we have so much in common. You know, like whenever we're home and alone and he's being honest about his feelings or she's like, he's just so funny. Like, I really think he's funny. She's with him because he's Diddy's kid and she wasn't really sure how this was going to shake out. Now that Diddy's in jail, dude, she's counting the minutes till she can clip this young crackhead idiot. You know what I mean? Like, you think she's going to stay together with this dude? Yeah, right. Look at her face. She's all, ah, God, get your arm off me, you fucking idiot. You are nothing but bad press now. You used to be good press. Now you are the worst press I can get. Amid ongoing legal, uh, you know, yada, 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 showing support for the brand. Okay, so Tracy took to Instagram to express her affection. Y'all know I love my man. I love my man. I love my man. Don't fucking play with me. Okay, maybe not. Maybe she, I take it back. Hey, she is stoked that she is with Christian Gomes. This comes in the wake of Diddy's recent arrest in New York City, where he faces charges of racketeering, conspiracy, sex trafficking, yada, yada, yada. According to uh, the drama, King's publicist, Linda Luna, received backlash for her public response to the Diddy arrest. Yep, saw that coming. This Diddy controversy is truly so unfortunate. Uh, I work with his son, Christian, and his publicist in the music arena. I've been to his parties and after parties. I've never seen what they are claiming. Yeah, I know, because you didn't go to one of those parties. I do feel like maybe he was trying to change over the past year, but it seems like it was too late and his past transgressions have come to light and now he has to face the consequences. What? Um, yeah, okay, so whatever. His spoiled son, this kid's fucked. I can't believe he's smiling like this. The only a kid that's on mega drugs right here. He's all, I don't know, for some reason, when I'm on cocaine and ecstasy, I forget that my dad's about to do life in prison. You know what I mean? Um, anyway, so let's move right along to J-Lo. Oh my God, I want that freak off tape, dude. Give me that freak off tape of J-Lo Please. Now, speaking of people who have seen the freak off tape, Ben Affleck given tapes of Jennifer Lopez after Diddy raids by FBI. Uh, Knight, Chug Knight says the tapes are the reason for their rumored divorce. The tapes show J-Lo's involvement in 1999 shooting. Affleck and Joe, uh, Jennifer Lopez reportedly trying to sell their Beverly Hills mansion. This was updated two days ago. And uh, former record producer uh, Suge Knight believes the rumored impending divorce between J-Lo and Ben Affleck is the result of Lopez's appearance in tapes seized by the FBI. In a new episode of his prison podcast, Collect Calls with Suge Knight, Knight claims the FBI may have confiscated tapes from the Diddy raids in this mansion, and some of them include Lopez. Now, let me tell you one other thing that I know. This is a very, very important point as it relates to J-Lo, Okay. I am in the process of listening to the audio tape of the Kim Porter book, okay? And in that book, you learn that if you, uh, Cassie was definitely not, definitely not the only girl that Diddy was doing uh, the pass around game on, okay? That's Diddy's MO. Like I said, the Kim Porter book that I will finish today, I am going to be able to tell you some absolutely insane details about how Diddy liked it. Cassie, definitely not the only one, which means... J-Lo almost certainly also getting passed around because that's how that's what Diddy was into, okay? That's what Diddy was into. So I want you to think about J-Lo sandwiched between Diddy and another man and then having Diddy be like, hey, J-Lo, why don't you take a break so I can be the bread or the what? <laughs> why don't you take a break so I can be, I could be the meat between the two pieces of bread. What? Okay. Bottom line, J-Lo got passed. Okay, assuming that this Kim Porter book is real and it sounds pretty real, uh, actually, it sounds totally insane. I actually can't even believe that it's real. If it is real, it is like this guy was the biggest degenerate of all time. Uh, but it is very likely to uh, to me that J Lo's getting passed, dude, because he was passing Kim, passing Cassie. Why would he not be passing J Lo? And so, as we look at a picture that looks like this of J Lo, I want you to envision Ben Affleck's eyeballs when he was given those tapes, dude. He probably was like, oh my God, this is so hot and I'm so mad right now. I am furious. I am so jealous, but this is so hot. I'm quite sure the FBI probably called. It's a white man who got respect in the white world. I'm quite sure they said, we want to show you some things about your wife. That makes perfect sense, Suge Knight. 
Okay. Hey, remember yesterday when I was like, sometimes I think like, I'll just say that I believe things that I think are probably not necessarily true. This might be one of those moments, you know, I just hope it's true so much, but, uh, let's be real, dude. How the hell would Suge Knight know? Suge Knight is locked in a cage box. Okay. He's a gangster. Still, he's still trying to get at, he's still trying to wreck people's lives from jail. Why would the feds call Ben Affleck and be all, hey, man, I just got to tell you something. Listen, so we were going through these hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of freak off tapes. And uh, we saw J-Lo <laughs> doing some things I think you might want to know about. Did you know that she's taken two in her mouth at once? Have you ever seen her do that? And listen, not to make this more painful on you, Ben Affleck, but neither of them were white. So, ah, uh, she's, have you noticed her looking very unsatisfied when she looks at you, you know, because based on what we saw in these freak off tapes, Ben Affleck, we can't imagine that you are capable of satisfying her. I'm just being honest, man. I'm just being honest because the people in these videos are, were unbelievably well endowed. How well endowed are you, Ben Affleck? Like, are, I'm sure you're giving her much better emotional support, but something tells me you're leaving a lot to be desired when it comes to, you know, what she's into because that girl is, uh, wow. She is insatiable. Insatiable. Just one after the other, after the other, after the other, after the other, after the other. It's unbelievable. I never thought a girl like, uh, you know, a, a girl who's that talented could, uh, could be, you know, in for the long haul like that. It's amazing. Why would they do that? Okay. Why on earth would they do that? It doesn't make any sense. Okay. That literally makes no sense at all. However, it is kind of funny to think about. She is so pretty, dude. She's like 50 something, dude. Look at how pretty she is. And by the way, I don't believe this for the record. I really don't. I don't. I am pretty sure that Diddy definitely either pass her or wanted to. Do I believe that she's in the freak off tapes? And do I believe that the FBI showed Ben Affleck? No, I don't. But it'd be funny if they did. That's what I got. Love you guys. Bye-bye.